Hello everyone, it's Jude here and you're welcome to Smart Watch Series. Active Zoom Minis is one of the main features you get with Fitbit Smart Watches. What is it and how can it help improve your fitness level? We're going to be talking about that in this video. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be talking about Active Zone Minutes. This is one of the main features you get with um, most Fitbit smartwatches. I'm going to start by defining what is Active Zone Minutes. Active Zone Minutes simply is a way of Fitbit um, trying to help you stay fit. They do this by gifting you a point for every minute you spend in a heart pumping activity. Um, the clue is gotten from, if you go to the American Heart Association, there is a recommendation for adults, specifically it says that it's recommended to get 150 minutes per week of moderate intense um, aerobic activity or 75 minutes per week of vigorous aerobic activity or a combination of both preferably um, spread through the week so what Fitbit does here with active zone minutes is you earn a point okay for every minute your heart spends in a heart pumping um, activity now there are three categories here you have the the fat burn zone you have the cardio zone and you have the peak zone now for every minute your heart spends in the fat burn zone, you earn one active zone minute. And for every minute your heart rate spends in the cardio and peak zone, you earn two active zone minutes. You should also know that your maximum heart rate is 20 to 20, 220 minus your age. So in this way, so this way, Fitbit is able to calculate your, your heart rate in the fat burn zone, your heart rate in the cardio zone and your heart rate in the peak zone. So as you can see, from my own data here, you can see that on the fat burn zone, my heart rate ranges from 115 to 138 um, beep per minute. And for the cardio zone is 139 to 168. For the peak zone, it is 169 plus. Okay. So for every minute, my heart rate spends in any of these zones. Okay. If it is the fat burn zone, I'm going to end one active zone minute. And when my heart rate spends one minute in the cardio or peak zone, I will end two active zone minutes. And is the goal for the week is 150 minutes. I mean, the 150 active zone minutes. So you are expected to end um, 22 active zone minutes each day. Okay. Um, for me, this is very easy for me to actually um, um, achieve or attain into that one because um, I just need to run twice in a week and I have my. I've met the, um, the weekly goal of 150 active zone minutes. So as you can see here, with this particular feature, it is a lot easier for you to be able to track your progress towards staying fit. You can also um, set your active zone minutes. Okay, you can actually change that. Okay, and you can also change the active zone minutes for um, for the day. All right, and you have other fig um, figures there like your um, steps and then um, the floors. You can actually set these goals from this particular so by tapping on the setting, uh, the setting um, icon at the top of of the app. Okay, so that way you can actually um, gauge how you progress as far as uh, managing your fitness goals with the Fitbit smartwatch is concerned. So, which Fitbit um, device is able to track active zone minutes? The Fitbit Sense, the Fitbit Versa 3, all Versa 3 series, from Versa Versa, Versa 2, and even the Versa 3, all of these have active zone minutes. There is also active zone minutes in the Charge 4 and Inspire 2. So every other Fitbit um, tracking device does active minutes, okay? So that is just about active zone minutes. So active zone minutes is a way of Fitbit trying to help you stay fit, a way of Fitbit trying to help you meet up with the recommendation by global health organizations, which is 150 of moderate exercise or 75 minutes of um, vigorous um, activity. So guys, that is what Active Zone Minute is. And I think this is a very nice feature. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, click on the subscribe button. Until next time, goodbye.